I want to show you a couple teacher tips so that you'll have good success in the classroom. I'm putting my goggles back on. So I want to show you something with the bromothymol blue and the placement of your paper cup. I don't have my baking soda in here right now. But when you tape this in here, it's so important not to get the cup wet. We really want to make sure the cup is above the liquid when we tape this along the side. And the reason I'm taping it a little bit below the top of the cup is I want the gas to be able to escape the cup fairly easily so that we can see that change. It is a subtle change. Encourage your students to be good observers. So when I tape this in here, I want it below the surface of the cup and also above the surface of the water. If you can't get hold of bromothymol blue, there's another great indicator that you can make at home, cabbage juice indicator. The reason I prefer using bromothymol blue if you can get it is that the color change from blue to yellow is more dramatic than the color change you'll get with the cabbage juice indicator, which is from light purple to pink. The other tip I would like you to remember is that this is a subtle change at first and it's really, really important to get your eyes down at the level of the liquid to see that subtle change right in the surface. And so I need to move my eye up and down right at the level of the water, the bromothymol blue, to see that color change begin to occur. Being a good scientist means being a good observer. This experiment has a subtle change, but big consequences, just like ocean acidification. We all want to be good observers so we can be good scientists. See you in the water.